I have owned and reviewed a lot of espresso machines, but none has taken as long to fully wrap my head around as the decent DE1. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just that this machine has so many previously unseen features, previously impossible things for the world of espresso that it's taken me a long time to dig into everything it has to offer. For the last six months I have lived with this machine, I have made coffee with it every single day, and now I'm going to share with you what that's been like and who exactly I think this machine is for. Now, before we get going, I want to make it clear this is not a sponsored video in any way. I purchased this machine with my own money. If you want to check it out, I will of course have a link down in the description below. Starting off with the physical design, we might be starting with one of the most contentious points of the DE1. For those looking to criticize decent machines, the very simple, boxy, tablet-centric appearance is by far the most common complaint I hear. Now, as with anything superficial, it will be entirely up to you to determine how you feel about this look. But one thing that is not up for debate is that the number of features and the amount of data that this machine shows needs a tablet. If the tablet is what you are objecting to about this look, then you are objecting to the whole premise of this machine. For me personally, I think that the look of this machine suits what it is at its core. It is a tool, it is a scientific device, and it is a highly capable piece of technology. And if you took that and you packaged it into a more classic espresso machine body, if you think about it, I think that would be somewhat disingenuous. It wouldn't represent what this machine actually is. Apart from the looks, the form factor itself is also quite unique, and in a good way. The machine is very petite, especially compared to other more traditional prosumer level machines. Without the tablet, it's 12 and a half inches tall, 9 inches wide, 14 and a half inches deep, and only weighs 30 pounds. This makes the whole machine surprisingly flexible and dare I say portable, which is definitely not a word you often hear associated with espresso machines. The DE1 arrives in a great hard shell case, which makes taking it with you to the cottage or to an event quite literally effortless. Speaking of the case, let's move on to the build quality, because the case is not the only area where Decent has gone above and beyond in a way that you didn't really know you wanted. The machine exterior and frame is made of powder coated metal, which has stood up well over time, but it's the water tank and drip tray where things get interesting. They are made of porcelain, which not only feels premium in a sort of zen way, but is also just highly functional. Cleaning them out is an absolute breeze, and refilling is also easy because of how the tank slides forward, similar to on the Linea Mini. My only hesitation with this would be how you have to take extra care when you are cleaning these objects because if you drop them, you will be left with nothing but pieces. One small build quality complaint that I do have is with the porta filter handles, especially in the black finish that I got them in. One drop or one bad hit on a knock box like I did and you're going to find yourself with a dent or a chip at the worst of times. Obviously, you could upgrade to any aftermarket 58mm port filter you want, however, for a product in this price range, I would have liked to see something a little bit more durable. Other than that small complaint, the build quality of this machine is overall very good. It doesn't use any exotic materials or wood accents, but it's clearly very well put together. They even go so far as to videotape each and every machine before it leaves the factory in case there's any damage caused during shipping and it's backed by a two-year, 200,000 shot warranty, which if you do the math is clearly more targeted to commercial use. 
Moving on to the features of the DE1, let's do a quick overview of everything this machine has to offer. The DE1 ships with a bottomless 58mm port filter, as well as a precision 18 gram filter basket and blind basket for cleaning. The Pro model and above also ship with precision IMS shower screens, which is a very welcome touch. The machine is a single group, single steam arm setup, and it is powered by two vibratory pumps. These two pumps are used to mix hot and room temperature water in real time to achieve degree perfect accuracy. They reference an array of temperature sensors within the group head to feedback and readjust in real time. This is the source of the pretty strange sound you hear when the machine is running. You can choose to measure the temperature at the puck surface or further up the water path, and even set this differently for different profiles. Getting this kind of temperature information at various points along the water path in real time is just a small example of how data driven this machine really is. The DE1 also does not operate on a typical boiler system, it uses thermocoils. This ensures it's able to heat up very quickly and also eliminates the risk of needing to wait for either of the boilers to get back up to temperature between drinks. All of the programming setup and information display is handled through the tablet, which then connects to the machine wirelessly by Bluetooth. What this means is that you don't necessarily have to have the tablet on top of the machine at all times. This cable connection is purely to supply power to the tablet. So you could technically place the tablet beside the machine or even pick it up and walk around if you were doing something like a seminar or a class. The stock interface is laid out intuitively, separating settings for brewing, hot water, steaming, and then general machine settings. I dove into this in extreme detail in my first look video. So if you wanna see me go through each and every page of the interface, definitely check that out. But what you need to know is that every single aspect of the drink making process can be fine tuned to your exact preferences. Steaming flow rate adjustment is as easy as using a slider. Hot water can be programmed to dispense any volume and at any temperature you choose. And of course, the espresso extraction is completely programmable. The DE1 is essentially able to duplicate any machine, past, present, or future, because of its ability to monitor the flow rate and temperature and adjust hundreds of times per second. There are a huge number of presets already programmed in, which you can use as is, tweak to your liking, or even create your own completely from scratch. Moving on to the user experience, the Decent DE1 is a very niche product, and that comes across from the second you place your order. You'll receive an email from a real person telling you next steps. You'll then receive a follow-up email inviting you to join the Decent forums, which are a gold mine of information and will also serve as the machine's user manual. When you first unpack the DE1, you'll connect the tablet, add some water, and then wait as the machine checks itself over to make sure that all systems are a go. It feels like something out of a sci-fi movie. But then, after all the lights turn green and everything is ready to go, you are left on your own to figure out how to make this tool work best for you. You're not completely on your own, you have the decent community to give you ideas and to give you answers, but more than any other machine, you need to figure out what this tool is going to provide you with. Scientific equipment companies don't tell scientists how to run their experiments, and neither does decent. One thing that I absolutely knew I wanted to do was to connect a Bluetooth scale so that I would be able to have the machine automatically stop at my desired yield and also compare the flow rate into the puck versus the flow rate into the cup, which is a relationship that can be very informative during pre-infusion. If you are going to go this route, I highly recommend getting a drip tray with a recess for the scale. I'll leave this one linked down in the description below. However, having my shots stop exactly at my desired yield without needing to pay attention to it is an extremely nice piece of workflow. And it's something that no home machines really offer and barely any commercial machines even offer. It truly is a luxury. Living with the Decent DE1 is very, very nice. It heats up very quickly, it effectively heats the port filter, and it pulls extremely consistent shots perfect temperature accuracy, and the ability of a flow limited profile to slightly compensate for variations in puck prep gave me the feeling that I could dial in shots far more quickly and get far closer to finding the optimal recipe for each bean. More than any other machine I have used to date, I knew that when I was using this, 
any differences from shot to shot were because of intentional parameter changes that I was making. And that is a really, really confidence inspiring feeling. Another small detail I appreciated was that the bottom lip of the back plate is angled and polished, meaning it can act as the perfect shot mirror, which is very useful. Now it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are two aspects of most espresso machines that I use really often. And those were either missing or didn't work quite as well as I wanted on this machine. The first of which is a cup warming rack. The decent runs extremely cool, which is also a positive, but it meant that I had to pour boiling water into my cups to properly warm them before making my drinks, which was a process that stood out like a sore thumb in an otherwise very streamlined process. The other thing that left me slightly disappointed was the water spout. When I first heard of this machine and when I first bought it, I was really excited to have perfectly dosed, perfect temperature water for my daily Americanos. However, I found the spout to be almost unusably splashy. I could stand there and hold the cup closer. However, the filling was so slow that I quickly defaulted to using my kettle that was normally already turned on anyways for warming up the cups. Moving on to the espresso performance, it is really one of those situations where there is so much to say that it would be next to impossible to cover everything. The Decent is such a versatile system that it will essentially do whatever you ask it to. I spent my first few weeks with this machine experimenting with a lot of the built-in default profiles, experimenting and seeing how the different water deliveries impacted the taste of the same coffee. After that, I started looking to the future. What could this machine do that existing machines cannot do? And that's where I found the true value in the DE1. This machine can treat lighter roast specialty coffees in a way that other espresso machines simply cannot. Even machines with control over pre-infusion have nowhere near the capabilities that this machine has when it comes to lighter roasts. The revered blooming espresso profile created by Scott Rayo is an example of this. A flow limited pre-infusion ends when it reaches a trigger pressure of four bars, which is followed by a 30 second hold phase. No water is added, but pressure is maintained. Followed by a ramp up and then a flat flow limited extraction. This leads to you being able to grind much finer than would otherwise be possible. And this profile acts as an absolute magnifying glass on lighter roasts for better or for worse. Another category of profiles that I've already spoken to quite a bit is adaptive profiles. These profiles analyze in real time how the shot is progressing, how much the puck is resisting, and then they adapt the flow targets accordingly in real time. This is incredibly interesting and incredibly forgiving. I can see so many situations where this would be beneficial from total beginners all the way to a commercial setting. So if I haven't already answered the how is the espresso question, the answer is that it is as good as any existing machine on the market that I have tried. And it starts to exceed those when you dig into the more specialized profiles. And when you start to explore outside of the 18 gram in 36 gram out box that we occasionally put ourselves in, in terms of espresso. It really is a tool. Do you want to just use the built-in profiles to replicate some of your favorite machines? Do you want to use a flow limited profile to slightly compensate for those mornings where your puck prep is a little bit off? Or do you want to use it as a piece of lab equipment to experiment with things like how does tamping pressure affect your shot like I did in this video up here? The possibilities are really endless. It's also worth mentioning that this machine isn't just for espresso you can actually get a pour over dispersion basket that will automate the pour over process. Or you can get a tea porta filter, which does some really impressive things, but those are definitely topics for another video. Moving on to steaming performance, there are definitely a few things worth mentioning. Even though the DE1 has separate brewing and steaming thermocoils, it is still not currently possible to brew and steam simultaneously, primarily due to current limitations on household outlets. However, once you have stopped brewing, the transition to steaming is practically instant. And once you're up to steaming pressure, it is really no slouch thanks to some recent increases in the steaming flow rate. At maximum flow, this machine can steam up to 60 degrees Celsius in about 30 to 35 seconds. However, more important in my opinion is the steam quality this machine produces. 
The steam from the DE1 is very dry and doesn't even require a purge before starting. Also, the lower you go with the flow, the drier it seems to get. I'm currently running at one milliliter per second and I'm very happy with that balance of dryness and speed. One thing that I would have loved to have seen would have been a temperature probe in the steam arm as well to really match the rest of the machine's precision and repeatability and so that steaming would stop automatically if you're steaming hands free. However, after talking with Decent, I am happy to say that something is in the works. And this brings up another very important aspect of Decent as a whole, the community driven, open source and continuous improvements they are making. A lot of my favorite features on this machine as it is right now were not actually created by Decent themselves. This DSX skin that is currently on my machine that I've also featured in another video. The adaptive profile, this drip tray. These are all things that were created by Decent community members and some of them have been adopted and rolled out to all Decent users through over the air updates. These machines are constantly improving and growing as our collective knowledge of espresso and coffee extraction does. What the Decent DE1 is, is an extremely purpose-built, technically capable, and meticulously thought out machine. What it is not is a manual, tactile espresso experience like you would receive from an E61 or a lever machine. It can easily duplicate the shots that those machines would produce at the touch of a button, but it cannot reproduce the manual hands-on experience. And if you are purchasing this machine, it is because you think that is a more than worthwhile trade-off for the technical capabilities. This machine is undeniably targeted at those who want to experiment and for those who want to push the limits of what it means to use an espresso machine. It is a tool, it is a test bench, and compared to anything currently out there on the market, there is nothing that even comes close. As always, I'll have this machine linked down in the description below if you want to check it out. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.